We're, we are surprised to be standing in front of you. Salam Aleikum. Or Shalom Aleichem. Shalom. So very similar. Michael and I are the co-chairs of Peace Drums. Just to give you a quick um, insight into that, um, we have created a joint uh, venture in Israel-Palestine where we have we purchased steel drums for a school in Ibeline, which is Palestinian. The students there are both Muslim and Christian. And we've purchased drums for a school in Haifa where the students are Jewish. And the students are playing steel drums because they have no background with steel drums. Nobody claims that as part of their tradition. It's something brand new. And the two groups then get together, and they're now playing together as one group. And just, um, just within the last two weeks, um, Harvey Price, who's the professor of percussion at the University of Delaware, who's the driving force behind us, he was there. And it was the first time that the parents of all these middle school children got together in one room, and they were able to talk about sending their kids here to Wilmington, perhaps later this year, where they will come and they will play concerts um, in the Wilmington area, Philadelphia area, perhaps Washington and New York. And after uh, he left and went off and practiced with all the young people and they're learning together, and when he came back, one of the parents said, what happened while you were gone was a miracle. This is the first time all of these adults from these two neighboring communities only 15 miles apart have been able to sit down and talk about some wonderful event that brings their children together and brings their communities together. So that's the kind of effort that we're working on um, here in Wilmington. So, Rabbi Beals. So I, I stand here for you with, with the Governor's Council of Delaware Faith-Based Partnership. I'm also the incoming president of the uh, Delaware Association of Rabbis and Cantors. So it's only me, but my yarmulke is really big this evening. <laughs> I wanted to put one challenge to the panelists and to all of you to think about in terms of what can we do. And the Peace Drums model is hopefully something that will inspire you. We can't control ISIS or ISIL. Netanyahu, he won't listen to me at all, doesn't take my calls. <laughs> no, Abbas, I tried, nothing. But we can do a lot of things grassroots. So I want to give you just one thing to think about to create hope this evening along the Peace Drums model. What would it look like, not only if the greater community understood Islam better, but if Islam understood other religions better as well. So if I could throw a challenge out there for you, especially with so many honorable Muslim organizations here this evening, what would it look like, especially with my friend Usman here, what it would look like if we would create in each churches and synagogues and mosques interfaith arrangements where we not only learn more about Islam, but Islamic people learn more about Christianity and Judaism and see that the tenets of our religions are very similar from what type of food that we eat and don't eat to when do we worship, how many times a day, which way do we face, how did we learn from each other and like a big musical theme, take the original theme and then change it to the different variations in our faith traditions. It seems to me the greatest power we can do against terrorism, against ignorance and darkness, is enlightenment and education. And it starts grassroots. And that's what peace drums is about. Make your own peace drums, and then we can bring God, Allah, Jesus, Muslim, Muhammad's light to the whole world. And that's how I think we move forward. May God bless us all with peace and inspiration. Let us say amen.